someone get an ouchie? Ruler, it's me. Remember me? Buffy. All right, time for another Zobie unboxing. This time is for October's Zobie box. The themes for this box are Buffy the Vampire Slayer the movie, Joker, Zombieland 2, and Batman Forever. Um, I love Buffy the Vampire Slayer the movie, and I love... Zombieland. It might not be Zombieland 2. It just might be the first Zombieland one. But I love it nonetheless. Um, Batman Forever. There's a couple of parts that I like. I love the... You know, I liked... I liked seeing Jim Carrey as Riddler. I think that was interesting. Um, he might be one of the better things about the movie that there actually was. Um, Tommy Lee Jones did alright as Two-Face it was kind of interesting I didn't like Val Kilmer as much as Batman but you know and uh, so I'm going to start opening the box here very interested to see what's inside because I've heard a couple of things but I haven't fully seen spoilers for this one. I accidentally just saw one kind of spoiler as to what the Joker item is. Because in turn for showing the Buffy the Vampire Slayer clip. I accidentally saw somebody, like a glimpse of somebody's post of their video. Way to go, Adi. But anyways, so we will open the box here. tissue paper this has become starting to collect a lot of this stuff too for you know future references gifts and shipping stuff but anyways. first off I hope this month's box put a big smile on your face ha 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 joker style signed by JR of Zobi JR I just saw the next item already in the box when I grabbed this Already, I can tell I love the thing. Oh, jeez. First off, the Batman item. From Dark Matter Props. Oh, jeez. That is freaking cool. It's like a batarang, metallic batarang. Oh, this thing is awesome. I know I'll probably never meet any of the Batman actors aside from Kevin Conroy but um I, I don't see myself meeting Bale I don't see myself meeting Keaton I don't see myself meeting well obviously not probably not Kilmer um because I haven't been to too many conventions outside of Minnesota so I think one but um this is this is freaking cool. And no, I'm not this is not going to anybody but me. Sorry. Next is the pin which is also staying with me. Oh, I knew this was going to be what it was. Oh, fingers crossed for that autograph. But the pin is from Zombieland. And it has all four of them. With the dartboard, it looks like. 
Something that would have been cool is if Bill Murray were like sticking out there too. But this is an awesome pin. It's limited edition of 325. So I'm guessing I didn't get the variant one, which I'm anxious to see what the variant one is because that's cool in itself. Um, so, yep. 247 out of 425. The Joker item is the print. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to see the movie tonight, so I'll see what I think of it. But this is pretty cool, though. And that's from Terry Huddleston. Does some pretty good artwork. And finally, the autograph. I, uh, I had a feeling it was going to be. All right, so it's JSA certified. And boom. Signed by Christy Swanson, who played Buffy the Vampire Slayer in the movie Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Also the JSA authentication sticker. I met her, as well as a lot of other people in Minnesota that had gone to the convention at Wizard World, I think it was 2015, it was the same year that I met Michael Rooker for the first time, I met Jason Muse for the first time, and her, and I know they were the three, I believe, that I got that year, I forget if I got this, another one, but, um, yeah. That was, it's definitely cool. I had her sign my Buffy the Vampire Slayer movie poster. So, so this is the, um, the first actual photo of her that I have signed. So I'm looking forward to adding this to my collection. Um, a quick little view of the box here. So, there were some Easter eggs there. Um, I'll show the Easter eggs. Looks like it was um, Doby print signed by Carrie Edwards, who was the mascot of Zoby. And it's also a, um, there's also a metal trading card that would have been inserted as Easter eggs in some of the boxes. Um, of course, there's the prop, which is sick. Um, some of the other variants of the art prints, and then the other possible autograph pictures could have gotten, and then the variant of the pin, which is a Tallahassee kind of twinky looking design. Um, so like I said, I'll see the movie Joker tonight, so we'll see how that is and what I think of it, um, from the trailer it looks pretty decent, so, um, yeah, I like this box, it was definitely another, they knock it out of the park every time with all these, so, um, the next... If I'm able to get it, the next item is the Zombie Fright Pack that I'll be getting. And there are so many good, good uh, themes for these things. And right now I'm forgetting what it was because this, this one kind of hit a little bit fast here after, you know, dealing with the Zombie Box and then the Fright Pack. The last fright pack as well still and then convention coming up and everything so um but yeah thanks for watching as well um there will be more soon to come